The Boardman High School Emerging Leaders Club usually holds the Yes Fest every year. It's to talk with students about saying yes to things other than drugs in their lives. Now, they couldn't host it this year with COVID, but didn't want to lose the chance to spread that message. I met up with Emerging Leaders organizer and one of the students to learn about the library they're expanding to teach students about the struggles of addiction and how they got the money to do it. In Boardman High School Library, you'll find all sorts of book titles from fiction to nonfiction. Soon, 50 more books will be added to this library, all of them dealing with addiction, a topic too many kids are familiar with, either at home or in their neighborhoods. I think it's important for them to be able to see themselves reflected in literature. So some of the books, you know, have families that are dealing with addiction, so a kid can read it and kind of feel like, hey, you know, I'm not alone in this. The Emerging Leaders Club at Boardman High School were the ones who teamed up with their advisor, Dana Seferic, to get the grant to buy the books. The need didn't go away on the topic of addiction. Um, so our group got together and we decided what can we do to give back to those students and help those that are struggling, and that's when we decided to apply for the grant. Seferic applied for the Heron Project grant. Boardman was one of just 10 schools in the entire country chosen to win the $500. Part of the reason they won was because of their work with a local recovery program back in the fall. We did an activity earlier in the year where we donated some books to Broadway Recovery Services, and we took Governor DeWine's pledge on ending the stigma on addiction. I just really saw how connected they were to the topic and how many of them had personal connections and, you know, wanted to get back in some way. And for the students and emerging leaders, they want to be a voice for their classmates and let them know if they know someone in their lives struggling with addiction, they're not alone. I think the books can be also very educational and ways to maybe help and not necessarily relate, but understand people who are going through that and your friends who are going through that. So I think that's really nice to have that. The students helped pick out the book titles. Some are fiction, others nonfiction, and some of the books will go in the library, others will be in the classrooms.